but Sam, why can't I just put my BOM in a spreadsheet? <laughs> well, I think um, really a lot of people do. So that's how people mostly start. And actually, there's an interesting article I read that the Williams F1 team was using spreadsheets um, up until recently to manage their entire bill of materials. So people do that because existing PLM software, as we've talked about, is very much geared towards enterprises, very much difficult to use. And so obviously people start by managing their data in a spreadsheet. What often becomes very difficult is uh, the spreadsheet isn't doesn't have any guardrails. So people can just update what they want willy-nilly. Um, there's often many different spreadsheets to manage different bombs and different types of data. So if you're just saying, what is the full source of truth for, you know, obviously this is an, this is an Apple product, but like what is the full source of truth for everything sitting in here and every single component, including documentation, all the pieces, you have to go to like five, 10 different spreadsheets to find that information. And so where we are is one consolidated source of truth for all that information. And then we um, uh, also help you update that information without basically making one of your senior, senior engineers being a throat to choke to, to be like, or maybe a bottleneck is a better term to manage that particular component there. So yeah. one of the big things is like, it's a lot more efficient to manage it with a, with a purpose-built tool.